eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal mystery through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 11, verses 14-23. At that time, Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the people marveled. But some of them said, He cast out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. While others, to test him, sought from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and house falls upon house. And if Satan also is divided against himself, how does kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed, God is own palace, his goods are in peace. But when one stronger than he assails him and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters the gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good Thursday of the third week lent you. I have chosen the theme, Are you gathering with Jesus or with the devil? My dear good listener, in today's gospel, Jesus ends with rather tough words. He says, He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. Are you with Jesus or with the devil? Are you gathering with Jesus or with the devil? My dear good listener, with Jesus there is no middle ground. You are either for him or not for him. You can't be two things at a go. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says you can't serve two masters. You must hate one and love the other. Do you love Jesus or the devil? You cannot love Jesus and at the same time love the devil. There is no middle ground. It is either Jesus or the devil. Which side are you, my dear good listener? We hear in the gospel of today how people began a choosing Jesus of casting out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. And others, they just came to test him, to seek for a sign from heaven. So we see that there was no trust in him. There was no faith in him. My dear good listener, if you and I have no trust and faith in Jesus, we scatter like the devil itself that Peter talks about in his first letter, chapter 5, verse 8, that the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion. There's no static place. It goes searching for the weak ones so that it can lead them astray. But Jesus comes to cast out demons. If he casts them out by the power of God, do I believe in this power? It's so astounding that many times when people come up in the name of God to cast out demons, people already begin marking them with funny names. At times I ask myself why people, whenever there is something beyond their conception, they run to think it comes from the devil. For example, nowadays, when somebody becomes rich, many people will think he has gone under the sea and that's where he got money from. Or if someone has faith and begins casting out demons in the name of Jesus, 
People think this power does not come from him. But so sad when we begin attributing the power of God to the devil, like the people in the gospel. Why do we quickly attribute something to the devil when it is of a supernatural origin? Doesn't that say already that we have no faith in God? So if we have no faith in God, where do we run to? Do we have faith in the devil? That whatever is of a miracle belongs to the evil one. Why should we attribute miracles to the devil? It is true even today that some people indeed use powers from the evil one. It is true. I don't dispute that. But do we have faith in God that God will overpower the demons? That's what Jesus is telling us. That when a strong man fully armed, God is on palace, his good sign peace. But when one stronger than he assails him and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoil. Jesus has come to take away the armor of the evil one and to overcome him. Jesus defeated him on the cross. The devil has no power over you. If only as Peter says, you resist him. We have the power to resist the devil just as Jesus did when he was in the wilderness, when he was tempted by the devil. He resisted him. We can resist the devil like Jesus in Gethsemane. When the devil again came to tempt him not to allow suffering to save us, Jesus still resisted him. You and I can resist him. And that's why Jesus applauds St. Faustina, who was equally tempted from her diary number 1496 to 1499. Jesus tells her, I'm pleased with what you are doing and you can continue to be at peace if you always do the best you can in respect to this work of mercy. Be absolutely as frank as possible with your confessor. Satan gained nothing by tempting you because you did not enter into conversation with him. Continue to act in this way. You gave me great glory today by fighting so faithfully. Let it be confirmed and engraved on your heart that I'm always with you, even if you don't feel my presence at the time of battle. So my dear good listener, you and I, if we do not enter into conversation with the devil, we shall greatly overcome him. Are you overcoming the devil by trusting in Jesus? Jesus today tells you in Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, I know about your activities, how you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were one or the other. But since you are neither hot nor cold, but only lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. So my dear good listener, if Jesus spits us out of his mouth, where do we run to? If Jesus, as he says in today's gospel, that if we're against him, we scatter, where do we run to, my dear good listener? There is no middle ground. It is either Jesus or the devil. Where do you belong and what are you deciding today? The Lord be with you. And may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the best of the day. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share with your friends this good news. For the soul.